Hello friends and partners, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I'm going to be talking about how to heal depression in Jesus' name through inner healing. In Luke 4, 18, Jesus is teaching us and telling us to be stewards of his word first, then to heal the brokenhearted, and then set at liberty those that are oppressed. Now, we've heard that scripture time and time again, but what Jesus is sharing here is he's telling us that we must first heal the brokenheartedness of man before we can deal with any demonic oppression. And so that's what we're going to focus on at the moment is just healing the broken heartedness of man. And today we're going to focus on depression because there's so many Americans that are depressed. There's actually over 17 million people here in the United States that have or are dealing with depression that have been diagnosed. Now, this doesn't even cover the other millions of Americans that are still just dealing with it that haven't went to the doctor, that haven't been diagnosed. And uh, so this is going to be an opportunity today for you to get some depression healed over your life. And these principles will continue to work in other areas for healing and restoration as well. Now, the Lord wants us to well, uh, give freely, and this is what we're doing here, is we're just giving freely. We want to bless you with this training uh, so that you can gain victory in Jesus' name. Instead of staying in this woundedness, you can get it healed and restored in Jesus' name. Now, before I go to teach you how to heal the wounded parts of your soul, we must first understand how Satan works. Satan. He is uh, a conniving lawyer who understands all of the loopholes inside of the Bible. And uh, his, his sole goal is to, uh, of course, kill us. In the process, he's happy to steal, to destroy, to make us feel crazy and insane. But we're not. It's just we're being tormented by the enemy. And he'll stay forever until these areas are healed and restored in Jesus' name. So we're going to focus on healing these areas. And at first, we're going to be dealing with some depression. So if you're depressed right now, well, uh, more than likely, something bad happened to you. You were wounded in the past, whether it was an open doorway that you opened voluntarily. Maybe it was generational sin that came in. Maybe it was sin that was perpetrated against you, where someone uh, hurt you on purpose, where they verbally, emotionally, mentally, sometimes physically or even sexually assaulted someone. And when these things happen, well, what we do is we try to get it healed all on our own. And of course, we don't do a great job about doing that. We share with a small uh, select group of friends what's going on. And then at some point, uh, well, we may even blast it on our social networks. And then we tr get tired of it and we try to forget about it and try to distance ourselves. But that doesn't heal it either. And, and that's the reason why the enemy is there. He's there because this is a legal open doorway for the enemy to come in because you didn't have Jesus heal it right in the beginning. So we're going to have the Lord heal it right at the root. So when the depression's at its highest level, what you're going to want to do and say, you want to get this down as well as, I'll have a link underneath on how you can do this all by yourself without me being around as well. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is when that emotion's at its highest level, you're going to say out loud, I divide soul and spirit according to Hebrews 4.12 and command the demonic uh, spirit to detach and leave in Jesus' name. And so what's happening here is we're going to call uh, my fist here a emotion of depression. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have the enemy, he's going to be here, uh, he's going to be uh, tormenting and oppressing this depression. And he just has a legal right to stay here. He's just intensifying the pain, aggravating, agitating you, and, and bringing you down. And so when you say, I divide soul and spirit, he is commanded to come off of that wounded area so that the Lord could come and heal and restore this area and you gain victory over the enemy. Now, we'll tell you where the enemy is going to go after that area is healed and restored. Now, the Word of God says as well in Hebrews 4.12, the Word of God is alive and active. It's sharper than any double-edged sword. It pierces to divide soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and it's a discerner and judge of the heart. And so when we divide soul and spirit, it, it, it gets that demonic presence off temporarily 
so that Jesus can come and heal that woundedness inside of you. So, once you say, I divide soul and spirit, according to Hebrews 4.12, the next thing that you're going to want to do is just ask Jesus to come and heal this wounded area inside of you. Jesus, please come and heal this depression inside of me. Maybe it's another emotion. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's, it's you feel embarrassed. Maybe it's you feel ashamed or you feel unworthy. Whatever the emotion is, you're just going to ask the Lord to come and heal this wounded area inside of you. Once you do that, then you're going to say, well, another thing is sometimes uh, we uh, know why we're upset and someone hurt us and they were, they were rude or they, they hurt our feelings, they were mean. And so if forgiveness is needed here, then ask the Lord, Lord, I forgive so-and-so for what they did to me. And once you forgive them, this is going to release this, uh, uh, this, this bondage that the enemy had against you. And it's going to start setting you free. And the Lord's not only going to forgive you, he's, uh, because we, if we've held a grudges against people, he's withheld and he's taken away that forgiveness from us because he says that he'll, he'll heal. We need to forgive others for their trespasses. Oh, the Lord will not forgive our trespasses. So we're going to forgive that person if forgiveness is needed. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to say out loud, Jesus, please come and speak to me now. And you're going to wait on the Lord and he's going to come and minister to you. He's either going to do one or two things. He's going to come in and he's going to speak to you let you know that this area has been healed and restored by him. Once he's done doing that, then it's, you're healed and restored. Or he's just going to minister to you and take away that negative emotion. And when that negative emotion is gone, then you know it's been healed and restored by the Lord. Now that's over and done with and you got that healed and you feel this presence lift off of you, you feel the demonic uh, oppression of a depression leave or the Lord spoke to you, then what you're going to do at the very end is you're going to thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for coming and healing and restoring me. Then you're going to tell the enemy where to go. I command you, demonic spirit, to go to the pit in Jesus' name. And just like that, depression has left you and it won't come back, at least over that one particular area. Now, there may be several open doorways that has opened uh, for depression, and this one in particular is over one particular area. So you may have to have the Lord come in and heal and restore multiple areas over your life that have depression. But each time that you do, then you gain victory and the enemy loses his legal access to torment that particular area in your life and you gain freedom over it in Jesus name. And then he can't torment that area ever again. It's gone. You can go back to that memory, whether, whether it was, you know, uh, your sister was mean at you and hurt your feelings and you, she cursed at you and said some nasty things. And so you can go back to that memory that bothered you and there's no more pain associated with that memory. That's what you're looking for. No more pain. Once the pain's gone, then it's forever gone. And so, uh, as well as maybe it may be something else over your life that, that you're going to need to get healed and restored. And so you'll just follow this same process over and over again uh, so that you can gain victory over the enemy. And each time that you do, of course, you gain victory and the enemy loses strongholds over your life. Now, uh, it, it's really important that once you get this healed and restored, you take a moment and you thank the Lord. This is one of my favorite prayers to thank him. Lord, we just thank you for coming in and healing and restoring this wounded area in my life. Lord, I give you honor and glory for doing that. Lord, as well, I ask you to uh, send in the Holy Spirit to fill me up where all the dark areas were that the enemy lied to me, bringing healing and truth to all the lies of these dark areas that the enemy brought in. As well as, Lord, we just ask you to bring in the peace of God to surpass all of my understanding. My heart and my mind will be steadfast on you. And Lord, I give you glory for showing up to heal and restore this depression in my life. And by thanking the Lord, we give him glory. Number one, that he's done 
the work. Uh, a lot of times we'll get healed and restored, and we see in the Bible where people got healed and restored, and they walked away not even thanking the Lord. They walked away not even doing anything at all. And so we need to give glory to the Lord when he does something as well as that you can use this same thing if you feel like you're tormented uh, and hearing voices or being tormented by seeing or feeling uh, some uh, some demons uh, as well as maybe you just feel sick you don't feel good you can use it over that as well uh, start that same process again and we offer this training for self inner healing absolutely free we just want to bless people as part of this because the Lord wants to heal the brokenness of all mankind. And no one else can take away these things, these horrible, rotten things that have happened to us, except for Jesus, if we give it to him. And this process will help you gain victory over those areas in Jesus' name. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us, uh, as well as go ahead and download that free training. It's about two hours of training of how to do self inner healing. I walk you step by step why you need to do it, as well as triggers that happen in your life. And then step number five, I go through uh, and, and I go over the worksheet of how to do this exact process. Then I give you some examples of others that are doing it just like you and some activation prayers as well. I look forward to chatting with you soon. I hope this was a blessing for you. We'd love to hear back from you if you were ministered or if the Lord touched you during this time and if you'd like to give us a testimony. I hope you have a very blessed day and thank you so much for tuning in.